Ready? <laughs> All right, so the number one question I always get asked in YouTube comments, Discord DMs, Instagram DMs, Twitter, just everywhere. Who's your sister? I'm just kidding, I don't know. <laughs> the number one question I always get asked, can you please build me a computer? It's too hard. Now, I am a firm believer that it's actually not that difficult to build a computer. I think with the right resources, any average person could learn to do it in probably like an hour or two. That's not to say about all the parts and specifications you need to know about picking them, but the actual build process I think is relatively easy. So the reason we're making this video is to show you guys that at least I believe anyone can build a computer and that's why we have my sister here. So what do you think is gonna be, uh, you think you're gonna do a good job? Do you think it's gonna be easy or do you think it's gonna be no idea. Okay, well, anyways, so this is how this whole thing is gonna work. I don't just wanna make this about building a computer, I wanna make it a little bit fun. So, this is gonna be a challenge. As you can see, we have a timer up at the top set for two hours. From the second I start the timer, my sister is gonna have two hours to do her best to assemble a computer. Now, if she completes it, she will win $1,000. Yay. Okay. Cool, money can't buy love. Anyways, so here's the here's the stipulation. The computer only needs to boot to the BIOS. Now the BIOS is what's already pre-installed on the motherboard, the software in there. And if it boots to the BIOS, she wins. There, if, for those of you who know a lot about computers, you can not build it perfectly and it will still work and turn on, not perform the most efficiently, but it'll still work. Now here's the part that she doesn't know. You actually have some lifelines during this whole thing. Number one, fairy godmother. If you are stuck, I will help you with one part that you are stuck on. You have to specifically point it out and I will help you with it. You have phone a friend. You can call someone in for two minutes of help over uh, FaceTime or video chat. Number three is 50-50. If you are stuck on something, I will give you two options. One of them will be the right one and you could probably figure that out. And the last one, which I strongly suggest you only use if you really need it, is SOS. And I will help you for 10 minutes of the two hours and explain to you what I'm doing. There is a way you have to earn that, but we'll talk about that when you really think that you need it. Anyways, so those are the rules for the competition. And uh, without further ado, let's get started. Wait, 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 I didn't even start the timer yet. You're cheating. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, ready. On your mark, get set. You can start, I don't even need two hours. Go, oh my God, okay. Do you know what that part is? No. You can't guess. It's a what case. She knows a little bit. Now, here's the other question. Have you ever watched any of Ow. my videos? No. Can I just rip, rip it open or no? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Shit. Oh my. Shit. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's the thing. Do you want to guess what that part is? It's the software. The light, it's the light, it's the light, it's the light, it's the light. It's the light. It's the light, it's the light, it's the light. It's the what? It's the lights. No idea. Yeah, it's the lights. Do you know what those lights do? They uh, make it pretty. Okay, well, what about this part? There we go. Well, this is clearly going to be the last thing that I use, and it's upside down also. That's great. What did you say? What do you think is going to be the last thing that you use? This one. Which one? This. That? You think that's going to be the last thing? You got the light thing. What are you doing with the light thing? Think shapes game. That cannot be it. Okay, like this cannot be it. Why do you think that? Because it would not be some loose thing. You're right. I don't think that it would be loose. Oh, we're getting serious. Seven eighths of your time left, and you still have four lifelines. Okay, give me one. Which lifeline do you want to use? It's up to you. Can you just do it for me? The first one? 
All right, I'm gonna help you out. These are not like these. <laughs> this is the RAM. So the RAM determines how many programs that you can run at once. And that's a very rough basic explanation. So you were right, they do go in here, but you wanna pop these back. Now you don't wanna put them anywhere. You wanna slide them in where the dim slots line up like this. And then once they're in there, you actually just push them in until they pop in on both sides. See how that closed up? And the interesting thing is here, you don't actually put them next to each other. That's called a verge. You don't wanna do that. What you wanna do is put them in their dual channel dim slots. Give me a thought process. Well, it looks like it goes right there. I'm gonna get demonetized. <laughs> looks like it's gonna go right there. You uh, don't wanna take a closer look at those instructions. Oh, oh shit, she lifted the lever. You might need help again. You might need help? Mm-hmm. Phone a friend, 50-50, and SOS. All right, someone come help me. All right, you're phoning a friend. All right, ready? Chris, oh, welcome to the show. All right, so here's where it is. Our contestant, AKA this dummy, is uh, about this far into the build, and she's decided to phone a friend. So you have two minutes to get Chris from Coalition Gaming's help, and your time starts now. Hi. Hello. Um, I don't know what to do next. I got this far. I don't know if you can see. Okay, you got the cooler on, I see. Yes, whatever that means. Um, but I don't know what to do with this. Okay, that's the, the, the connector for the fan on that cooler. Yes. Near that socket, there should be a connector that has four pins with a, like a little slot. It might say something like CPU underscore fan. But you see how that little connector has grooves on it for like uh, something to go through? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yes, so there's a similar connection with the pins that has the other half of that. Oh, I see it, but it is. Oh, there we go. Wait, then what do I do with these two things? Kimberly, so, I hate to break it to you, but your time is up. You will have to say goodbye to Chris. It goes from the fan to the motherboard. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you, Chris, for your time. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Okay, so what did you learn? Not much. <laughs> hey, you're making progress. Can I put it in? There's probably one more step you can do before oh, you start. Oh, f Okay, woo! Shapes game. Shapes game. I hear you. What you thinking? I need to go to the Apple store. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there we go. Why is it sticking? Now there's a way to make that stay down. You tape it down? Uh, no. You screw it down. Uh, ooh, that sounds like an idea. Impress me, Chief. Yes! Yes! You screwed in an NVMe M.2 SSD. Even I haven't done that on my channel. Now right. I open up this. That didn't seem necessary to do. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> is that not how well I was supposed to screw? Well, you still have two lifelines left. You got 50-50. Well, this, this, this might be one of those 50-50 moments. All right, 50-50. <laughs> I would tell you there are two options to uh, <laughs> taking off this glass panel, but there really is only one. <laughs> you can uh, figure out how to do this yourself. Ooh, okay. Okay, 
I am s actually very surprised. <laughs> now, you probably have to tighten that down. <laughs> you were intentionally showing your backside for like 20 minutes there. You trying to get me the higher view count? Is that what this is? It's like 7 billion screws. <laughs> So I won't say you had the wrong idea. Like I said, you want to take into uh, account the shapes here. If there's only four of those type of screws, wouldn't it be the four? Well, you do have one lifeline left. This is definitely a tougher part of the computer, so up to you. All right, we'll show them. Are you calling your last lifeline? Yeah. Well, there is a stipulation. There uh, is something you got to read here in order to uh, have access to the fourth lifeline. Yeah, I already know it's going to be. So it's gonna be Stupid. Yeah, I know you think stupid. <laughs> I need you to read it. This is like so stupid. Come on. Come on, this, this is really You know what? I'll just do it myself then. <laughs> oh no, are you cheating? Yelp? What's Yelp gonna do? Are you kidding me? You're calling the Apple store? You can't. I'm telling you, this is definitely the hardest part, but there is a way to get some help. I just FaceTime that guy again. <laughs> okay, can you just do this for me? All right, here. Wait, this, you go. this is stupid. This is like stupid. Please always continue to be a shining example of profession that I could never be because while this world is difficult and tough place to be and the fact that you're here makes it better. Oh, no, this is so, all my life I've always looked up to you with nothing but jealousy. <laughs> that makes no sense. You truly have it all. <laughs> this is like so stupid. We'll keep going. God, you're handsome, intelligent, and most importantly, better than I am. The fact that I even get to stand in your presence is nothing short of a blessing. Oh, thank you. Please always continue to with that. Chris is better than me. Alright, so this is definitely the hardest process, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get the motherboard screwed down into the case, but you missed something called the I.O. shield. This thing goes between the case and the motherboard, so let's see, I got to fill. So, this is the other thing, now we're going to put it in here. Now the part you weren't getting is that there are standoff screws in here that need to be matched up for you to screw down the motherboard, so I just found one back there. So now we gotta do, uh, yeah, we'll do the power supply. Okay. So I think we just need these three. And then you're gonna put your graphics part in. So it's actually good that you unscrew this top part, otherwise you wouldn't be able to screw this in. So we got those two little brackets out. Get this out of the way. Got a little click there, okay. That's about all I can help you with. <sighs> what are you sighing? You didn't even build any of that. You don't have too much left to go. What would I have to plug these into? Oh, maybe this? Yeah, that looks good. My sister plugged in her first graphics card. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I'm not having fun. This has to go here, I'm assuming. How'd you get it in? All I wanted to do. Was a mukbang. Oh, did you get it in? Yes. I was gonna put these back on, right? You're a little smarty pants over here. You're learning how things go. What else is left? To the top. <laughs> you wanna look at the chair? I was at the front. <laughs> you can just cut that. It's your little baby. Hold on. Come here. Let me let me get a little shot of you. Come on, get behind it. You want a shot of your computer? This is your first computer you built. <laughs> you can't do that. Alright, well, let's try it. There's the power button. Right there. I realized we missed a step. <laughs> Alright, well we still got 22 minutes. <laughs> Here, 
And that should be it. Let there be light. But it posted! Oh, thank God. <laughs> you built your first computer! So, in your opinion, without any help, you think you think this is something you could have figured out on your own? I don't know, just the whole thing was you just need help on little things. It's not like everything, like the main parts are fine, it's just like the little things. What do you think of how it looks? It's cute. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching me build my first Apple Mac. Um. Now, unfortunately, she needed a few too many tips um, and she didn't get the computer built within under the two hours. But uh, I know you do complain about not having enough money at school, not being able to do anything fun. So I will give you a complimentary prize of $500 to go back to school. Anyway, so yeah, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this entertaining or informative in any way. Do you know my outro or no? Tweet me at David Dobrik. Okay. That's all I know. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> You're so stupid.